Hey everybody, today we're gonna uh, hopefully do a quick tip here. So I, I worked on my wife's Highlander over the weekend, fixing the exhaust, and one of the other problems it had was both right taillights, if you can see. Um, right now the brake lights are on, so the, the top brake light is working, the two brake lights on the right are working, but the two on the left are not but the parking lights work. So I replaced the bulbs, thinking that both brake light filaments were out, <clears throat> but that's not the problem. So if you're by yourself um, to fix this, and I, I went online and there's a lot of people with this problem. So you wanna just get a, uh, somebody said put a mirror behind the car, that's a bunch of crap. Just get a piece of wood, pull your seat all the way back, put the wood on the brake pedal and move your seat forward until it just presses the pedal down enough to turn the lights on and then you'll have an automatic brake holder. Um, it would help if it was unlocked. You can see the turn signals work too. So in the Highlander, everything's accessed through this panel here in the back. So you just unclip that. Okay. Now your, your bulbs are here and up here. And like I said, I changed those. But one thing you'll notice, this is the reverse light right here. This is the reverse light and you can see the bulb in there. The main harness for the lights for the back actually go straight into that socket, which is the reverse light socket. And then from there it's traced out throughout the whole light. Now you'll notice, I'm gonna take that wire and I'm just gonna jiggle it and you'll see what happens to the brake lights here. See that? I gave them a jiggle. Now they're both now they're both working. So there's something in this connector here, and I don't think it's the actual connector. I think it's the socket. Um, so you pull that out, and then you give this a twist, and we're going to take a look at it because there's a couple things we can do, and these can be um, interesting to get out too. They're a little tight so here's the thing these go in there and those fingers need to make contact with all of those uh, for lack of a better word contacts in there now they don't look dirty I kind of wish I had some dielectric grease to put in there but what happens over time is they can get um, you know bent down a little bit I believe there's a fix online that says you just bend these up, bend these tabs up a tiny bit, and they work. I don't think that's her problem. I think that is her problem in there. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, and you can see there's a wire missing. That upper right one doesn't have a contact, which means the upper right one in here is a dead, is a dead one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend these up a little bit, and I'm going to bend these out just a tad i'm just going to bend them i'm going to take a screwdriver can't do that with one hand take a screwdriver and i'm just going to ever so slightly bend them out so that when this pushes in it uh makes stronger contact uh, there's somebody again i read this online they said like an eighth of an inch that's also a bunch of crap if you bend them out that far you'll never get it in you'll probably ruin the the pins when you try to jam it back in <clears throat> so that's what we're going to do i'll be right back Okay, the other trick that I'm gonna try is um, I'm only gonna turn it in like a quarter of a turn. Um, and what that could do is that could actually sure up the connection a little bit. Um, Cause over the years it's gotten used to being in a certain, at a certain direction here, a certain degree of turn. So it might uh, work better if I just turn it back a little bit. So let's plug this back in and see what we got okay still nothing so there's still something not right with this yeah it's the it's those contacts for sure so that's all the way turned back and that's turned about a quarter of the way and then that's locked all the way in so there's something there something goofy going on there but that 
I can wiggle that like crazy and it's not coming off now. <clears throat> so let's, I think that probably has it fixed. What I'll do is I'll probably go back in there again with a nail file or something and clean the contacts a little bit better and uh, bend things up. But that's basically what you got to do to get that to work. So before you spend $150, $160 at a dealership for them to look at it and then, you know, them to tell you that they want a few hundred bucks for a new taillight assembly and then another few hundred bucks for a um, wiring harness, do what I just did. See if that fixes it. Because I, I bet those two bulbs I took out of there are still good and um, <clears throat> should be good to go. Thanks for watching.